So what's up guys, and today we're going to talk about the questions that is regarded from our latest video. Let's go. When our first question, we have what are the laws of reflection and refraction? According to Shell's law, it gives the amount of bending of light rays. It also determines the relationship between the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction, relative indicates of given pair of media. What is reflection? What is the law of reflection? The law of reflection states that when a ray of light reflects off a surface, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, which means kapag 45 degrees yung angle of light ray, 45 degrees din yung light of reflection. Next, what is the law of refraction? The law of refraction states that the incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal to interface of any two given mediums all lie in the same place. So what does this mean? I don't know. Nice. Just kidding. So that means, kung 45 degrees yung angle, it may be 45, 90, 80, or 180 degrees. It is not equal, or it is all lie in the same place or in the same reflection. Next. What are the characteristics of different types of What are the characteristics of different types of mirrors? So in this question, we have a three common type of mirrors, which is the plane mirror, concave and convex mirror. So what is the difference from them? I don't know. Just kidding again. Okay. So the plane mirror is a flat mirror that it reflect images in the normal proportions just like what I'm doing today. I'm recording this to camera and this is my regular reflection. But when it comes to concave mirror, concave mirrors are spherical mirror that curve and wind like a spoon. Yeah, regarding to the first experiment done by that on that video. If you do not watch the video, you will not notice. So, convex mirror. Convex mirror are also spherical mirror. However, unlike the concave mirror, they are bulge out and distort the reflected image, make it smaller. So, if you, again, if you don't watch this video, you will not notice. So, next, four. A tree. What are the characteristics of concave and convex mirror? So concave mirror, they are creating an illusion of largeness and are typically found in bottom of this bedroom. Yeah? Do you agree with that? Because concave mirror can produce a real image, but it is upside down. But in the convex mirror, it can also produce a virtual and real image regarding and it is determined by your position or by your distance with a mirror that is concave or convex. So number four, what are the principal ray used to draw a mirror? So number four, what are the principal rays used to draw a ray diagram. So we have the region of curvature, aperture, principal axis, and the center of curvature. It will be displayed on the side. So next, number five. How are reflection of light evidence in nature? Let's go. Reflection of light is when light bounces of an object. If it is the surface of smooth and shiny like a glass, yeah, you can see that in my glasses. Oh my god! Wow! The light will reflect at the same angle 
as it hit the surface. This is called the specular reflection. So ano nga ba ang evidence ito po sa ating nature? Just like water streams, waterfalls, ilog, sapa, or like. Have you ever tried looking at this kind of a part of the nature? Yes, you can see your reflection through this. Because light and reflection of light is evidence in nature because of... Uh, uh, how is the reflection of light evidence in nature? Because light is everywhere. And if you are not experiencing the lensing of light or reflection of light, uh, how is reflection of light evidence in nature because of this light is all around us and reflection can be all around us just like this one you can see the light behind it is reflecting in my face which you look me as a looking good man and this light is kind of sad in everything okay everything every day the day does even your eyes you are reflecting an image so that's all for today and i hope guys you are know who are we so thank you guys i hope we answered all your questions thank you bye bye